This is Dr. Janavi Kedare. I work as a psychiatrist in Nair Hospital in Mumbai. So let's begin. Hello everybody. Let's begin with a smile. Let's smile. A wide smile. A good smile. Let's greet each other with a smile. Let's greet ourselves with a smile. Does it feel good when we smile like this? So let's greet each other with a smile. At the moment, we keep thinking we have never seen anything like this before. We never thought that there would be a calamity, a disaster of this magnitude in our life. A pandemic like this. This is unique because we are facing it in a different manner than all the other illnesses which we have seen till now. We get fever, cough, cold, we go to a doctor, take medicines and we feel better. We get fever, we get treated for malaria, sometimes for dengue, sometimes for swine flu, sometimes from, for chikungunya, for so many different kind of illnesses and we are all used to all those illnesses. This time it is a little different and therefore it is unique. It is also different from all kinds of illnesses which we have heard from the past like plague and smallpox. Now they have become a thing of the past. This illness we, which we are facing is a very different one. In what way? We know what it is and we know how we can prevent its spread. We know that prevention of the spread of this illness is possible. And that is why we all are here on Facebook Live at 7 o'clock in the evening instead of sitting in our offices talking to our clients or drafting petitions and while preventing this illness here we are locked down we are in a lockdown and so all of us are at home and on Facebook live how many of you feel that this is like a lockup for lawyers for lawyers a lockup is a very familiar term. How many of you feel that this is like a stay order that is being passed on your lives and that it has come to a standstill? God knows for how many days. How many of you feel that it is a judgment that has gone the other way? Well, or probably it may go the other way. How many of you feel that this is a very difficult period, that it is a crisis in my life. I am sure many of us feel the same way. Let us accept that it is a tough period for all of us. We are losing out on our routine, on our work, suffering from monetary losses. Students are losing out on their education. Trainees are losing out on their experience and what not. All of us seem to be losing out on something or the other. True, but is that the only thing? I think what is important is, and this is very important mind you, that we are staying at home and we are staying safe. That is why I said, let's begin with a smile. Let's begin with a smile so that we face this crisis also with a smile. 
So let's begin the day also with a smile. How does the day begin? The day begins with a smile when we look ahead and see that there is a sun rising in front of us, which is such a rare sight. We hear birds chirping around us, which we never tend to hear. We can recognize, oh, that's a quail. Oh, that's a sparrow, which I have not seen in months together. And that is why I feel we should begin our day with a smile. Then have a cup of tea with the family because you all are together with a smile. There is so much to share with each other, with, between, um, amongst all of us. There is so much to do together which all of us are doing. The greatest advantage of this calamity is that we are all sharing and caring. Sharing the work in the house and caring each other in the process. And what is sharing? Sharing is somebody is cooking, somebody is washing, somebody is washing utensils, somebody is sweeping, somebody is mopping. And one person once in a while is venturing out of the house to get some vegetables, some grocery, some fruits and some medicines. We are caring for each other and we are looking after each other. Because we are so particular. A person enters the house and we clean the handle with a sanitizer. We enter the house and we rush to the wash basin and we count 30 so that we finish washing hands appropriately. So we are all sharing Caring, the only thing is whether we are doing with a smile. One of my friends gave a very good example. He said, I enjoy mopping the floor very much. I enjoy it since the time I learned to meditate. Because during the process of meditation, we clean our minds. We clean our minds from all the dirt that is, all the negative thoughts, all the thoughts that trouble us, all the conflicts that trouble us and we clean our mind of all these things, especially things of the past. That's why I love mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, cleaning my house because it reminds me of my meditation where I clean my mind. Such a lovely example to say that a simple work like mopping can also give somebody so much pleasure. Somebody washes utensils and then somebody gives techniques of washing utensils. So, what is happening is that we have all the time with us and so we are devising different methods, innovations and finding creative ways of doing the same things which we have been doing for years together. Yesterday only somebody told me that uh, lockdown is such a period that we are realizing that it's not necessary to go to a mall, it's not necessary to go to a restaurant that often. It's really not necessary to go to your theater to watch a movie. You can be just at home and still be happy and enjoy life. I have seen people having meetings, especially Zoom meetings. There is so much criticism about it, but still it's one of the popular platforms looks like and people use for what? For family gatherings, for family meetings and let me tell you, for family games, there are group games, group challenges that have been going on and so people have been enjoying themselves when they have been given a free time. We are always looking for vacation. We are always looking for a break from our routine, from our stressful life and all the, all the work that we keep doing. 
this is a perfect break which we all of us have got the problem is that it has come very suddenly we were not prepared for it and therefore we feel that it is a disaster that it is a very difficult period but then i know people who are making use of this time in such a way that oh i have seen such beautiful paintings being made in fact somebody sold off one of the paintings and raised money so that it could be donated for various causes during this time what better utilization of time than this could be in such periods many of us always long for various things some of us love to paint some of us love to cook some of us love to dance some of us love to sing some of us always say that i don't get time to do my exercises at all i don't get time to look at myself to look after myself to take care of my health well what better time than this let's use all that time for that only let's make use of it let's start a routine that we have always longed for maybe we cannot go for a walk outside maybe we can just get up and start doing exercises on our own maybe we always wanted to cook maybe we cannot get all the ingredients that we want but whatever is there at home can i make something new out of it can i make a different dish i know that people are having birthday parties at home party means a family of 3 4 but a surprise for their daughter for their mother where somebody who has never baked a cake till now bakes a cake and surprises the person who is celebrating birthday make some dishes which have never been tried before so whatever we have longed to do for so many years i am sure this is a perfect opportunity to do it how we look at this opportunity is important do we take it as a as a difficulty do we take it as an opportunity it is also it is also important to keep a few things in mind how we face the challenge of corona how we keep a few things in our mind i thought there are a few things which we can think of connect converse continue contact how do we connect let's connect connect with each other connect with ourselves and how do we do that <coughs> well people are connecting people are connecting with each other through various things various ways as i said by meetings by telephone conversations i know people who have not spoken to each other in a long long time and now they are talking to them they are trying to find out how they are how they are looking after they are safe or not so connecting with each other is important i think probably connecting with each other within the family has also become important today that is why conversing is important conversing with each other about what is going on in life not just did you buy bread today did you study today how much television you watched these are the conversations we have with our children also instead of that this period has given us an opportunity to talk to them on various topics to talk to them about historical background even when that ramayana and mahabharat is going on maybe to discuss a few things about ramayana and mahabharat probably to sit together and recite a few things recite shlokas stotra some 
prayer which we have learnt in childhood probably we forgot to teach it to our children when they were very young now probably is the right time to do that and do things together so converse converse with people conversing is important and that will give us the strength to face the crisis to continue to continue doing what we do to continue with a routine not just say that it doesn't matter whether it is sunday monday tuesday wednesday because it's one and the same i don't have to go anywhere i don't have to do anything so how does it matter whether it's 19th april or 20th april or 21st april how does it matter it's just that i should not forget anybody's birthday that's it no i think it is important to continue to have a routine to get up at a particular time to sleep at a particular time to get enough sleep i am sure people are watching lot of things on netflix amazon and what not there are web series when somebody begins with a web series one doesn't stop till it gets over and so it's about whatever 10 hours 12 hours 18 hours of continuous watching and one doesn't even realize how the night is spent and so i think it is important to remember to continue with our routine to have regular sleeping hours to regular getting up to having a a set pattern of work for ourselves i'm sure there is a lot of pending work which we were supposed to do once upon a time which we have always wanted to do probably study a little bit probably read a little bit probably do something on our own and all that i think this is the right time to do that and plan that and therefore continue with your routine and most important i feel is contact contact with people contact with us contact with family members contact with as many people as possible even if you have to uh, even if you remember that okay i remember this person probably i have not met him in the past 3 years but i know he lives alone how he must be passing his time now and isn't it difficult for him to go through this period so let me just call up and find out how he is so establishing contact with people pre- maintaining contact with people at these times i think will definitely help all of us and it will give us a lot of strength when i say contact contact is also with those who are in need contact with those who whose needs are not getting fulfilled at the moment i know one of my neighbors who takes vegetables to adivasi padas of thane district and distributes vegetables freely to them i know of various voluntary organizations who have going into who have been going into the community consistently a large number of volunteers who have volunteered their services for the community where they are taking ration medicines food packets to the doorstep of people either where they are in containment zones they are living in sealed buildings where there are positive cases or where they are living alone where there are old people where there are ill people so there are people who are helping one another i think this is one of the greatest sources of satisfaction in whichever way we can we can do that and that will definitely give us satisfaction and so i believe contacting people connecting with people like this will definitely help us helping others will definitely help us even helping a neighbor who cannot go out to buy his vegetables even somebody from the next building who cannot really get medicines for a long time and is requesting us or we realize that he needs it definitely a relative who stays a little far off but uh, needs vegetables can you request somebody staying close by please go and help my relatives connecting with people keeping contact with people and converse with people i think that is important and that is why i feel corona is not such a calamity in a way it is an opportunity how we look at it is important well i agree we are losing out on many things 
but then let us look at few things let us look at ourselves let us see whether we are changing in some way let us look outward look at the world and you will feel that yes the world is definitely changing we see the rest of the country is also fighting the pandemic we are also fighting the pandemic let's look at our society whether that is also changing in some way whether our way of thinking our way of thinking about ourselves our needs our future will also have to change with this let us look at all that let us look at the world and then let us look at ourselves what are we doing how are we dealing with it how are we coping with it are we happy doing it are we doing it with courage in our mind are we doing it as i said initially with a smile on our face so let's look at ourselves and then let's look look within ourselves how are we are we feeling comfortable with whatever is going on are we getting various thoughts in our mind are some of us getting a lot anxious than others they are getting palpitations tremors breathlessness and can't think about anything else can't sleep in the night can't really eat well are there people like this amongst us if there are and i'm sure there are a few of us who are suffering like this they need help they need to contact people who would help them professionals so that whatever little help they need can be given so remember these things of looking within ourselves and trying to figure out am i comfortable am i dealing with this properly am i happy with whatever is happening in my life is very essential looking within ourselves once again to check our values to check our philosophy of life to see what is important in my life and what is not to understand the value of people in my life to understand the value of my family in my life i think this is a golden opportunity for all that we keep talking about work life balance we keep talking about time management stress management and what not i think this is a perfect opportunity to remember this that this is the period which will teach all of us how to balance work and life once we go back to life and i mean it that this is not a permanent position that is also something to be remembered this is not a permanent situation this will change and once the situation changes our lives though probably a little different one than what they always were we will resume them and we will have a normal life it may take a while but times are going to change the situation that is going on at the moment is a temporary situation and it will change so let's keep this hope alive in our mind let's be optimistic about it and let's be happy about the period that has been given to us with our families where we are staying indoors and where we are staying safe S- staying safe so once again i will say begin the day with a smile end the day with a smile expressing your gratitude to god that you have got so much in your life and much more will come in the next few months and years thank you